Hey guys, I think this is such a cool problem. We have this blue circle centered at the origin, and we have this red line that's tangent to the circle with the equation 4x plus 3y equals 12. And they want us to solve for the radius of the blue circle. I really like the solution to this one. If you want to try this on your own, pause it right now, because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, one. First important detail is a radius and a tangent line will always meet at right angles. So let's make this a right angle. Next, I want to find the x and y intercepts. We probably could just eyeball them and see that the y intercept is 4 and the x intercept is 3. But if for some reason we don't trust the graph, we can find the intercepts from this equation. We know on the y intercept the x will equal 0 and we know on the x intercept the y will equal 0. So we can make an xy table where for the y intercept we'll plug in 0 for x and for the x intercept we'll plug in 0 for y. So let's do that. We'll copy down this 4x plus 3y equals 12. We'll plug in 0 for the x, and 4 times 0 is 0, so all this will vanish. And then we have 3y equals 12, and after we divide both sides by 3, we get y is equal to 4, and that is going to be our y-intercept. And we can update that up here. And we can do the same thing for the x-intercept. We'll plug in 0 for the y, which will make all this disappear. And then after we divide both sides by 4, we get x is equal to 3. And that's going to be the x-intercept, and we can change that right here. So now that we've verified our intercepts, let's draw this right triangle. This side is going to be the distance from 0, 0 to 0, 4, which is 4. And this side will be the distance of 3. And since it's a right triangle, it's a Pythagorean triple. It's going to be a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So now let's focus on this triangle and make a duplicate and then rotate it and move it down here. So these two triangles are the exact same triangle. One is just rotated. So the area of the top one should be equal to the area of the bottom one. Well, for the top one, the area is 1 half times the base of 3 times the height of 4. And for the bottom one, the area is 1 half times the base of 5 times the height of r. And now we can simplify this. On the left-hand side, 3 times 4 is 12, and 1 half of 12 is 6. And on the right-hand side, 1 half times 5 is 5 halves. In order to get the r by itself, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of 5 halves, which is 2 fifths. On the left-hand side, the 6 gets multiplied by the 2 to give us 12 fifths. And on the right-hand side, these cancel each other out. So we have r is equal to 12 fifths. And we can give it a label of units and put a box around it. So in this situation, the radius is 12 fifths units. How exciting. Wasn't that a neat solution, setting the two triangles equal to each other?